It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got some more Queen that we're going to dive into, and we're definitely going to be going through a lot more of their stuff because what I've heard so far is absolutely amazing. And I feel like they stand out so much from other groups, and, and that really intrigues me to want to listen to more of their music. I am going to tell you something that's going to make me look a little bit stupid right now, so don't judge me, but I just found out after the last reaction that Freddie Mercury was a part of Queen. I had absolutely no idea. I feel like everybody knows that but me, so I feel a little ignorant. But that at least lets you know that this is really my first time listening to all this stuff. And Ruth, shout out to Ruth, she put me on to Live Aid 1985, which was apparently a really dope show. And I want to dive into some of the songs that they performed during that show. This is Radio Gaga. We might do Bohemian Rhapsody, which I think I've done a reaction to already, but I want to see the live version. I think that it'll be fun. So I'll probably do that and whatever else that they did during this show will get up over the next couple of weeks. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys want me to check out. If there's any stuff, did Freddie Mercury go off and do shit on his own or was it always with Queen? I, I don't even know. So I'm learning as I go, but I'm here for it, and I'm definitely down to check out whatever it is. So leave those comments. If you guys are new here, smash that like button, hit that subscribe. Notification gang, just ring the little bell real quick if you want to know when I drop new videos. But let's get into this. This is Radio Gaga from 1985. Let's see what it's all about. I mean, it's vibing. Look at that crowd, that's crazy. I like this girl in the front here. Hold up. This girl in the front, she's like, you just don't know. You just don't care. Like, she's she's rocking with it. She's rocking with it. But I like the whole don't become some background noise. I, so I don't know the context of this entire song. Live performances, I do find, as much as I love them, sometimes I probably should check out the original recorded song first because it's easier to make out everything being said, whereas when it's live, sometimes stuff gets lost in, 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 the, in the, the sound, if that makes sense. But that that little bar alone is like a way to live your life. Don't get lost in the background noise because it's so easy to do. Watch her. <laughs> I like her. Look at that. That's crazy. Are people up on the, the, the higher deck levels as well? Look at this. Are people up here as well? Like, I couldn't, like, just imagine. Imagine being in front of a crowd of people like that. It's wild. You know what's funny to me? And, and obviously, I've never been in this situation, so I can't speak on it. But in my mind, I feel like it'd be less nerve-wracking and, and less intimidating to be in front of a monstrous crowd like this than it would be to be at like a bar or something with a hundred people, right? Because it seems so much more personal. You're so much closer. Whereas when you're on this big stage in the sea of people, it almost just blurs in. Like everything just kind of blend or blends in and blurs because there's just, there's so much. Not to say that it wouldn't be intimidating because I'd be nervous in both situations. I ain't even going to lie to you. Uh, I feel like the, the, the butterfly is going on stage or something that a, some people don't seem to get, but I think a lot of people get them even as you become extremely popular. You just learn how to make them fly in formation, so to speak. But it's, it's like, I just couldn't even imagine. Like, you walk in front of that many people, it's almost like the fear gets to a certain point where it just washes itself out because it's just like, yo, it's like, it's a, it's, it's a mob. Like, it's like an unfathomable, 
unfathomable amount of people. I can't talk today. Radio. Is this him throwing some shots at radio, like what they play? I'm not I'm not positive, because again, this is my first time hearing this. We so said all you hear is radio Google, radio gaga, which I don't know if that's just saying like talking about the type of shit they put on the radio. radio. It's got to feel powerful, too, to have a whole crowd singing with you and clapping in between. Like, I, I couldn't even imagine. Like, that shit's got to be the biggest rush ever. All we hear is Radio Gaga, Radio Boo, Radio Gaga. All we hear is Radio Gaga, Radio Gaga. Radio wants you. Radio Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that crowd. That's insane. You got to love that man's voice as well. I'm interested to check out some more stuff. I feel like there's... There's a lot of uh, a lot of things that we got to dive into, without a doubt. And, and I think what, what really led me down this path was, because I checked out Bohemian Rhapsody. I feel like everybody knows that song. But that last reaction we did, which I can't remember the song name now, just the way that they layered the vocals and kind of came, it just was very unique to me. And so it made me want to dive into as much Queen as we possibly can. So continue to let me know down below. We got a long ride ahead of us, because we've barely touched the catalog, but I want to get into as much as possible. So take it easy, stay safe. I will catch you in the next one, homies.